Influenza commonly known as the flu, is an infectious disease caused by an influenza virus. The viruses are enveloped single-stranded negative sense RNA viruses with eight segmented genome and code five internal proteins and two glycosylated envelope proteins, being hemagglutinin and neuraminidase. The sudden emergence of pandemic H1N1 virus in 2009, the persistent circulation of highly pathogenic avian H5N1 viruses across large regions of the world since 1997, and the recent emergence and spread of avian H7N9 influenza virus in China illustrate the continuing threat of influenza viruses to global health. To enhance the treatment outcome, several antiviral agents are recommended including oseltamivir, marketed under the trade name Tarmiflu. This drug is a neuraminidase inhibitor by blocking the activity of neuraminidase enzyme and therefore is used to prevent flu after exposure. Consequently, improvement of the evidence base for current treatment guidelines of severe influenza is clearly essential for optimal clinical management and pandemic preparedness. From April 2007 to February 2010, we undertook a prospective, double-blinded, randomized trial and multi-center study including 13 hospitals of Indonesia, Singapore, Thailand, and Vietnam. This is so far the largest clinical trials done in severe influenza patients. To compare treatment outcome of severe influenza between standard dose oseltamivir, 75 mg twice a day, versus double dose, 150 mg twice a day, respectively. 165 and 161 were randomized to double or standard dose oseltamivir. We measured viral status according to reverse transcriptase polymerase chain reaction for influenza RNA in nasal and throat swabs on day 5. Similar proportions of patients were negative for RT-PCR on day 5 of treatment 72.3% double dose recipients versus 68.2% standard dose recipients. There were no virological or clinical advantages with double dose oseltamivir compared with standard dose in patients with severe influenza admitted to hospital in terms of clearance of virus, mortality, median days on supplemental oxygen and mechanical ventilation. More details of study can be found at http colon slash slash dx.doi.org slash 10.1136 slash bmj.f3039.